Lucia. Uh, thank you, Facundo and Alejandro and Amcham, again, for inviting us and me to give the opening remarks at this year's Health Forum. I missed it last year, and I heard it was fantastic. Amcham puts together some amazing conferences and amazing groups, and I made a big point of putting this on my calendar so I would not miss this year. So thank you very much for allowing me to participate. Uh, over the years, uh, particularly the last few years, uh, we've learned how important it is to have strong health care systems. Certainly we've learned that in the United States, you've learned that in Argentina, and we've learned that globally. We've also learned that global challenges require us to partner together, to come together, and collaborate on solutions. We're here today in person, almost, I think, 400 plus people, standing room only, due to the efforts of all actors in the healthcare sector, government, companies, researchers, service providers, and professionals cooperating to save lives during the COVID pandemic, a pandemic that knows no borders. And we notice that all of these professionals come from, partner from the United States and from Argentina, and we're grateful. Looking forward, our countries must focus on building stronger supply chains, better access to care, research and innovation to keep our societies healthier, safe from disease, and more productive. The United States has had a long history of cooperation with our Argentine counterparts in the healthcare sector. In particular, this year has been a keystone year with many positive developments. First, I'm delighted to share with you that we've opened a U.S. Center for Disease Control Office, our CDC, uh, with office at our embassy recently. Rachel Smith, who's here today in the front row, Rachel, raise your hand, she just did, thank you, leads our office. Uh, we're very excited to have Rachel here. She's here with her family, and they're getting to know all of Argentina. She just told me they're going to hike in Jujuy this weekend, uh, but they're getting to know all of Argentina, and we're grateful for her work here. Uh, she came here from CDC headquarters in Atlanta and uh, has already made a great contribution here in Argentina. Uh, Dr. Smith and her team work hand in hand with the Ministry of Health on areas such as antimicrobial resistance, AMR, healthcare quality and surveillance, and detection of critical healthcare threats, among other issues. And we look forward to continuing this partnership. With CDC staff on the ground in Argentina, we've increased our cooperation to, to detect and respond to. Uh, new and emerging antibiotic resistant health threats. And this is a potential crisis, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. We do that through the Global Action in Healthcare Network, G-A-I-H-N, a CDC-run global network of hospitals and laboratories. Argentina was the first country in the world to participate in this network, and we're very grateful for that. As the preeminent reference lab in the region, the Malbron Institute is a critical CDC partner, leading the GAIHN initiative, as well as other flagship regional and national col collaborations with CDC in foodborne illness, high consequence, high consequence pathogens, and influenza. Earlier this year, U.S. health and human service officials services officials, traveled to Argentina to join your Ministry of Health and Pan American Health Organization's Vaccination in the Americas Week events to discuss how the U.S. government can support P PAHO's work in Argentina. And this next month, representatives from the United States will participate in the fifth Global Mental Health Summit hosted by Argentina and Ministry, Minister Visotti, who's here today, here in Buenos Aires. I want to take a second and talk about Minister Visotti. She has been an absolute pleasure to work with from 
our embassy. She's been also a great partner, <clears throat> uh, very, very serious partner on working on global efforts, working on regional efforts, and working with us on uh, partnerships and solutions in Argentina and in the United States. And we're really proud of the work we do with Mr. Basotti. Argentina and the United States are also active members of the Global Health Security Agenda, GHSA, a group of more than 70 countries, international organizations, and NGOs and private sector companies that have come together to achieve a vision of a world safe and secure from global health threats posed by infectious diseases. The GHSA leverages the strengths and resources from multi-sectoral and multilateral partners to address priorities and gaps in efforts to build and improve country capacity and leadership in the prevention and early detection and effective response to infectious disease threats. Under President Biden's leadership in our country, the United States has made global health policy a priority. Just last month, our Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, launched our State Department's newest bureau, the Bureau of Global Health Security and Diplomacy. This new bureau will lead our efforts to strengthen global health security. We've learned something in the last few years. In addition to the global health security, the government-to-government -government cooperation, the U.S. private sector innovation stands out for scientific and technological advances, including clinical research for vaccines, treatments, and development of new medical products and inputs. That's one thing I've really been impressed with when I go all through Argentina, whether it's Cordoba or Santa Fe or Mendoza or uh, Buenos Aires, the research that you're doing for new vaccines, treatments, and development of new medical products and inputs is outstanding. And I'm glad to see that we partner with Argentina on all of this. Uh, I'm also glad to see so many U.S. companies engaged with their partners here in Argentina for those products, services, and technologies contributing to a safer world, increasing investment here in Argentina, and fostering a culture of innovation. Investment and innovation require an appropriate business climate to flourish with key ingredients such as rule of law, protection of intellectual property rights, and access to capital and transparency and predictability. And that's where AmCham plays a really important role. Talking right now to all of the leading candidates for president and their teams, saying if you want to bring more U.S. businesses here, this is what they're looking for. Ingredients, rule of law, protection of intellectual property, access to capital, transparency and predictability. It's not hard, it's not rocket scientists, it's just a fair playing field, and that's what U.S. companies tell us they want. It's just common sense. Public and private investment in research and development grow both of our economies, generate new jobs here in Argentina, and advance both of our societies. Partnering together, we can develop solutions to emerging healthcare challenges, not only in the United States and Argentina, but throughout the world. We're proud to celebrate 200 years of friendship and partnership between Argentina and the United States. And this is a great opportunity to enforce and reinforce and celebrate our interconnectedness and start on the next 200 years. In, particularly, in particular, we want to thank all of you in the private sector to, uh, for all you do and ask you to continue to build this relationship between our two proud countries. I'd like to close by thanking you and highlighting that the U.S. government is committed to a long-term win-win relationship with Argentina and its people. As always, our embassy and the United States are ready to continue working with all of you and AmCham to create a healthy future for our nations. Enjoy this important forum. Muchas gracias.